Hello fellow YouTubers, this is the Nazi 1996 coming back from a long period of time being on here. Um, a lot of stuff went down ever since I last got on here and checked in. Um, we had the shooting up in that elementary school on up in the north and then we had that uh, movie theater shooting. And I think the guy finally got put in prison for it, so thank God for that. And then we got North Korea wanting to bomb our asses off. I've been doing a lot of research on that because something like that, it just gets to a person like me. Because I care about our country a lot. And, you know, just the thought of somebody bombing us was, you know, it, it blew my mind away. I had to do a lot more research. And uh, I think what they're wanting to do is they're wanting to put this, like, tracking system on these like, missiles or you know maybe three or four tops and they're wanting to you know track them all the way over here which I don't see that happening because a missile can't travel far at all unless you know they overfill it with fucking rocket fuel or something but I think they leaked like a map of what, where they were going to hit at and believe it was somewhere around the Washington DC area and then you have the Chicago Illinois which is Illinois Illinois excuse me um, which is you know one of the finest cities in the United States and you know they just that just made me mad so yeah you pretty much know what this video is gonna be about so far it's what pisses me off I don't have these special graphics and shit, you know, there's something pop up and it'd be like, you know, reading such stuff that pisses me off, you know, across the damn video screen. I don't do that shit. I'm gonna tell you what pisses me off. Number one. People judging young age marriage. I am an engaged man. Or guy, whatever. Say I'm seventeen. My, my birthday is in January. I'm engaged to the love of my life. We're getting married in January. Maybe possibly a couple of days after my birthday. Um, nothing makes me pissed off than seeing somebody make fun of that shit. I hear parents complaining about it. You know, originally me and my fiance we were going to get married in August. Early August. And... My mom went to prove of it, so I have to wait till I'm 18, which is in January. All I gotta say is, if you love somebody so much that you would do anything for them, there's nothing stopping you from going after that person. If you truly, truly love that person. But if you think that you two will not work out in the end, then please, do not get married at a young age. Because if you go through all that hell with your mom or your dad or something to get married to the love of your life, supposedly, and you guys only seen each other off and on for like five months or something, didn't know each other or how you truly acted or anything, and you get married and that person turns out to be a damn douchebag, then your life's pretty much shot all of hell. I'm sorry. Um, another thing that pisses me off, people like me, aka Redneck, getting judged for pretty much being dirty, you know, like, ooh god, you know, ooh god he smells bad, you know, dirty, and accents, etc. As you can plainly tell, I don't have a greasy hair, head of hair, excuse me. I get my words twisted. I do not have a greasy head of hair. I keep a clean shave. I do have a beard, but that is normal. There is not a thing wrong with a beard. Unless somebody truly has to shave for a job. That is 100% understandable because... 
you know, my job asked me to do it. They said that I had a choice, though. They said you could either shave it off or you can trim it up. So I trimmed the son of a bitch up. Um, accents come from family. My family believes in old-fashioned, simple talk. We call it simple talk. I don't know what you people call it, but we call it simple talk. And nothing hurts my feelings and pisses me off more when I see somebody from the northern area or the western area or hell, even on down east here. I'm from Kentucky, so east would be Virginia. They make fun of us. And they're in the Appalachian Mountains too. We call it Appalachian. You guys call it Appalachian. But, you know, they live here too. They, they should understand what true values are true values as in talking with accent like as I'm doing right now uh, working our asses off I'm talking like digging ditches weed eating banks the size of this is just a metaphor weed eating banks as big as Mount Rushmore that's a big metaphor I know um, working on greasy, oily, tr hot, hot ass trucks, coal trucks, auto, automobiles, ca slash cars. You know, burn ourselves alive out in the heat. That is called hard labor down here. We call it hard labor. That is very hard labor. And. My family was raised like that. I was raised on a farm personally. I'll go out, I'd plow, plant seeds, and watch it grow. Then, then if I was lucky, I'd go out to the damn field and bale some hay. And it may not seem like it to you, but we have feelings too. We're people just like you. We get heartbroken just as easy as you do. We get pissed just as easy as you do. I'm pissed right now. And I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're a damn billionaire. Somebody insults your house. Somebody insults your looks. Somebody insults your car. Somebody insults you personally in general. You are going to get pissed. And don't tell me you won't, because even though you may hide it, even though you may say, oh, that's your opinion, it still pisses you off or gets you aggravated. There's not one person I don't know that's been pissed, like, you know, my kind, that's been pissed about somebody. It's on Facebook. I, hell, I've seen videos on YouTube about judging us. I've talked to several people about this and they are pissed we have feelings like I said our hearts get broken just like you do it's set maybe for us we get pissed when we get heartbroken or something like that we're crazy you know we're just I guess it's just us you know me, I don't get pissed when I get heartbroken, but afterwards, you know, I'm like, ooh, goddamn, you know, but that's fine. But I just, I can't stand it when somebody judges us. My kind, you know, we call ourselves brothers for a reason because we are the only ones of our kind. And I can tell day to day that our kind is going downhill fast. Where I'm from, it is a small rural area. Everybody knows everybody. Everybody talks to everybody. We're friendly to each other. But I've been noticing a lot, a lot of changes lately down here. 